Hello friends. I made grenadine a while back and I thought I'll make you all a El Presidente to show it off. And then I thought, why don't I zero in on what exactly my favorite El Presidente recipe would be? It's one of my favorite cocktails and there's a certain amount of discussion, some passion online about uh, what the right recipe is. So why not? I think I have too many rumps to do this all in one uh, video, so I'm gonna, I think, make a little series. Uh, I'll show you what I got so far, and then in the future when I figure out uh, some more variations, I'll, uh, I'll make another video. Um, okay, uh, let's do it. Okay, let's talk grenadine. Uh, grenadine is very easy. It's basically just pomegranate juice and sugar. Um, I'm gonna add a couple other things to it. Uh, you can use bottled pomegranate juice, but I prefer to just buy a pomegranate because uh, it's easy enough and it doesn't make a whole lot of grenadine, which is fine because I don't use a lot of grenadine. Most of the drinks that call for it don't call for a whole lot, and uh, it'll go bad eventually, so I just uh, stick with the fresh pomegranate. Uh, now, uh, we're going to measure out our uh, pomegranate juice. Uh, do yourself a favor, get yourself a scale, it's uh, a lot easier. Uh, equal parts sugar, and then we'll stick it on the stove. Now you do not need to boil this, you just need to heat it up enough to dissolve your sugar and your pomegranate molasses. And then we're also going to put in some orange flower water, uh, flowers it up a bit, gives it a little zazz. You just got to stir to combine, dissolve that sugar, and let it cool, and we can make some El Presidentes. Now I got a few different books uh, that all have recipes for it, they're all uh, a little different. The main difference will be between blanc and dry vermouth, and the second main difference is the ratio of rum to vermouth. The other ingredients seem to be pretty consistent book to book, so we'll stick with those. But the first uh, tr task is to figure out if I want two to one or one to one vermouth, and we're going to stick with blanc vermouth for this test. Uh, that seems to be the consensus I've heard online. So I had a couple of friends over and a small child to drink some cocktails and uh, help me figure out what we prefer. Now uh, the first thing we decided was a uh, one-to-one -one vermouth to rum was too vermouthy and we did not prefer that. So going forward we're going to stick with a two-to-one ratio of rum to vermouth. Yeah, at some point in the future I think I will try dry vermouth because that's how I used to make them and we'll uh, see if that holds up. Now we started with Real McCoy for our initial tests um, and we moved on to some other base rums to figure out what we liked and it turns out we liked Real McCoy with a little Smith & Cross in it uh, to give us a little funky flavor. Now the orange liqueur and grenadine levels seemed pretty good so we didn't really mess with those. I'll probably stick with that uh, for now while I figure out uh, which base rum is the best rum for the ultimate El Presidente. But I've got a bunch of different options for funky rums and I got a bunch of different sort of base rums to uh, try out so we've got a we've got our work cut out for us here. I think to wrap up this first video I'm gonna go back and try dry vermouth with our current rum selection and see how I like that. And then uh, in the next installment, we'll start experimenting with rums. Whoa, it's a power move. It's a power move. We are gonna try these side by side. This is our current recipe with Dolan Blanc. I've made one with Dolan Dry. They have the same rums. Uh, Real McCoy 3, Smith & Cross, half ounce of Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao, and a bar spoon of grenadine. And we'll see which one we prefer. Mm. 
Mm, there's nothing wrong with that. Delicious. With the rum, you get a orange, nice orange bite, a little bit of that funk. They're very similar. Uh, I think I slightly prefer the Blanc, but the dry is pretty good. Um, and if you only had dry at your house and don't want to buy Blanc just for this drink, I don't blame you. Um, <clears throat> it's still pretty good with the dry. But maybe we'll stick with Blanc for the remainder of these tests. All right, it's time to end this video. Uh, if you have an El Presidente recipe, I would love to hear about it in the comments. I have some other orange liqueurs I could try. Anyway, I got all, I got plenty to uh, keep me occupied um, with El Presidente's for a while. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.